Dogi Entertainment Limited presents Yes You Can Niger Reality Show. Do you know how to act or sing? Are you a comedian or you've got special talents? One house, 20 housemates, 30 days, and three winners. First prize, brand new car, 1 million cash worth of prizes, and two years movie contract. Second prize, 500,000 worth of prizes, and two years movie contract. Third prize, one year movie deal. For more inquiries, call 081 395 22490. Yes You Can Niger, promoting Nigeria made in Enterprise.
Please. What's the situation? How, how, how is he doing? Chief, he's fine. He's doing well. Chief, where is your wife? Uh, well, I asked her to rush back and get some forms. Okay. Come with me. Anything happen to you, okay? It is going to be all right. Chief? Yes, Amosis. I want to make a request. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I have an only son. Yes. He's in the village. All right. He just finished his school. Okay. Amosis. I want you to get him and help him to make life good for him. He's the only one I have, and it's, a, it's only him I'm working for. Please, Chief. Amos, <sighs> relax, relax. Your request is already taken care of, okay? Just relax. What you need now is to rest. I'm fine. You are fine, Papa. Okay. You are fine, You are fine, Papa. You are fine. Just one second. Hello, Gary. Yeah, you've not gotten the money. Okay, okay, okay. You know, you know, you know, you know what I feel now. Rush back home and get something prepared for Pamosis. I think he he must be hungry now. Yes, get something for him. All right, okay, that's all right. So, uh, would you like something to eat or something to drink? Pamosis? 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 I, 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 I received a call from my wife. No, 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 he can't go like that. Yes, Chief. 
No, 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 take it easy. He had a complicated internal date. Oh my god. Please, take it easy, okay? I'm not. Cover him. I must why now? Why? Why not? My lovely wife. Oh. How are you? You're welcome to my uh, humble abode. Richard Ramos's son. So sorry, I, 
about your daddy's demise since um, we're still in a rude, very rude shock. And I'm so sorry again that I wasn't even able to attend the funeral. Oh, no, 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 don't worry at all. The, your presence was much felt. Thank you very much. Darling, I, I hope food is ready because uh, oh, you guys sure. will be hungry after the lunch. In 20 minutes, darling. In 20 minutes. So just, uh... Okay, and in that case, I take him to his room. Yes. So that he freshens up before the food gets ready. That's fine. 20 minutes. Okay. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is your room. I hope you like it. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. It's okay. Just fix it to your taste. Eh? And uh, if there is any other thing you need here, don't hesitate to let me know. No okay. Okay. Yes, Thank you very much. Eh? Okay. Uh, so you fresh it up and then come down to the dining table for yes, dinner. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, thank you very much. So I'll leave you. Thank you. I hope you like the food. Yes, thank you very much. It's uh, <clears throat> very palatable. All right. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. oh. Thanks very much. See you later. I'm coming up to you now. Doing that. I told you to leave those dishes for me, didn't I? Yes, Ma, you did, but <clears throat> it was, you know, I wasn't really doing anything and I just thought I could tidy up the place. Just endeavor to go to bed early, okay? Yes, Ma. Night. Good night.
That guy is so hard working. Who? Richards. What? No, no. See, each time I look at that young man, I, I remember my recklessness that drove his left father into his early grave. I don't know, I don't know how I can... I, Darling, please, is. don't... St quit talking about it. I mean, it's not your fault. What has happened has happened. Only God knows why the accident in the first place. But you see, you can't, you can't question God, can you? Hmm? Maria, yes. please do me a favor. Okay. Try to be as nice as you can to that boy. Do not let him overlevel himself in this house. Okay. I know. I will see what I can fix up for him as time goes on. Okay. Don't worry. Everything is in control. Hmm? All right. What do you think you are doing? I'm just ironing your clothes. Ironing my clothes? Why? I have told you to send all these things to the laundry. Why? Sir, so, um, the things were just lying there and I just wanted to you know, arrange them properly. So I would iron the first. See Richard, you, you, you are already useful in the house. So you don't have to go all the way to prove it. Sir, so, but how can I ever repay you for the good you've done to me? I mean, if it wasn't for you, I would still be languishing in the village. You see, my dear, you don't owe me anything. You don't. Rather, I am the one who is owing you. I owe you a lot. How? Hello, hello. It's okay. It's alright. Um, it's alright. I just wanted you to take things easy. Don't overlevel yourself, okay? Alright, so, round up. Sorry, sir. I, I, I bumped into an old friend of mine at the supermarket. An old friend of yours? Yes, yeah. His name is Jim. Jim? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, that's bad. But you forgot to look at your time. I'm supposed to have traveled. Sorry, sir. I, I didn't take my watch. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, bring, transfer those things into my briefcase yes, sir. and bring them quickly. Thank, thank you very much. You're welcome, 
Richard, how are you? You look tired. I am tired. I don't know how I'm going to go through dinner tonight. Oh, um, don't worry about that. I've taken care of it. You cook? I mean, tasty meals? Yeah, well, yeah I, I went through the dinner menu and I cooked. I, I tried my best. So, um, I'll, I'll go back. This food is very delicious. You like it? Mm. The best I've taken in months. <laughs> Tell me, how, how did you do it? Because I can't remember taking this kind of meal. Mm. That's Richard's handwork. Richard's what? Richard. Richard prepared the meal. Richard prepared this meal in this house. This man wants to make Richard unnecessarily big in this house. For the first time, my husband has raised eyebrows at me. <laughs> Rosemary. Could this be what I'm thinking? Oh my God.
Is there anything I can do for you, madam? Oh, no, I... Uh... <sighs> How are you? I I'm fine, madam. I am. <laughs> you have a beautiful body. Thank you, madam. Well, I, uh, I want to talk to you. Oh, okay, let me just get my clothes. No, no. You're perfect the way you are. Sit down, please. Do you like it here? No, I, I don't understand. I mean, um, do you... Do you like this house? Do you, do you like the comfort? Everything here, do you like it? Oh, yes, madam. Thank you very much. Now listen, if you want to keep staying here, you have to do all that I ask you to do. Okay? Uh, madam, I've never disobeyed you before, have I? No, no. No, you haven't. I mean, as a matter of fact, you've been wonderful. But I will need your loyalty and your trust and I'll give you anything that you ever want in life you see I am um, I need you have everything that I want in a man and uh, I want to be loved you see I I'm not I'm not particularly a happy woman but madam you have everything you have money you have everything money isn't love i need to be loved i mean can you believe that for the last four months chief hasn't as much as looked my way how much more to make love to me so sorry i'm sorry i'm bothering you with all of this I want you to touch me. Please, I can't do this again, I beg of you. I don't want to betray the confidence Chief has in me, please. Nobody is betraying anybody's confidence here. My husband would never find out. Trust me. Please. I just can't live with it anymore. Just spare me the agony, I, I beg you. On the contrary, you'll be hurting me most if you don't play ball. Or would you rather find yourself back in the village? And lose your job here? So. Sit down and don't let me repeat myself.
No, uh, Mr. Williams, we've got to reschedule the meeting. I am so sorry. I know. Yes, I know. Because right about now, I'm going to pick up my daughter at the airport. Yeah. Well, her flight came on time. I, I'm really sorry. So it will... Okay, okay, that's fine. So what you have to do, just tell me the time and date. And the venue. Alright. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. How long have you been gone? Wow! Home. That must be. Oh, there he is, Richards. This is Richards. Bamos is his only son. Oh my God, she's hers. What? Oh, he looks so much like his father. Oh. That's my daughter, Mandy. Well, um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, so sorry about your father's other device. Please accept my sympathy. It's okay, it's alright. Okay. It's alright. Okay. So, uh, Richard, is lunch ready? Please, it's ready. Okay. Hmm? Does he cook? Oh, Richard is a fantastic chef. Wait until you taste his meal. That's when you know how good he is. Oh, come on. Richard, get it ready because we are starved. Come on, baby. We are. <laughs> Tell me that guy made that food. I told you. Oh, Mom, he's got such an incredible talent for cooking. And other things too. Wait and find out. That's quite pleasant. Exactly. Mom, wait, 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 wait. What? What's that? What? Mandy, you've got to the act. You need to go and rest. What is what there? Huh? This place is fun. I mean, it's cool. Yeah, that's true. Oh, really need to get busy, girl. Where are you going to?
you and I will keep me always suffocating. Never come and kiss your papa to police. I fight you from afar, but you always on the run. Yeah. Oh my God. Suffocating, never come and kiss your papa to police. I fight you from afar, but you always on the run. Yeah. Oh my God. Just a glass of water. Water? Yeah. Huh. Richard! Richard! And who is Richard? Richard. Oh, Pamosi's son. Late Pamosi is the gate man. You know oh, him now. Oh, though. yes. The old man. Thank you. He's Cute. late now. Oh. Hmm. Richard is his son, huh? He now stays with us. Oh. So, please escape me. Okay. Richard! Done what I asked you to do. <coughs> what? You don't smoke? No, I don't. <coughs> I don't like the smell either. Uh, too bad. Now you need to get out of here. Come on, out! Out!
What is all this? This game. What? Just, just look at yourself, Mandy. Look at yourself. Just look at the handkerchief you are dressed in. And you are busy still drinking yourself to hell. And you have the cause to ask me what whiskey. Daddy, just another whiskey, love it to it. Oh, oh, oh. Is this what you went abroad to school for? Is this the meaning of schooling abroad? What, what if I had come here with a friend and strange myself? Come on, Dad. Just ordinary whiskey. Really nothing to it. What did you just say? Ordinary whiskey? Mandy. Hmm. My God. Mandy. Yeah, yes, Daddy. You smoke? Oh, Daddy. Maybe you could check your board. And you should be able to explain how I got into my room because I remember sleeping off in the bed with this and this. So, what happened? When I came in, the whole place was messed up, okay? So I decided to tidy everything and, you know, put everything in place. Because you know your dad, if he comes and he sees the place is messed up, he'll just roar. Thank you. You're welcome. Richard, and what happened to the dress I had in? Because I woke up and saw myself in my nightgown. So what happened to my dress? The dress you had on was stained with your drink, so I changed it for you. Wait. Richard, are you trying to say that you undressed me and put on my nightgown on me? Richard, is that what you're trying to say? Mm -hmm.
Yes, I have not forgotten. So, sweetheart, I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, no, not now. I'm very busy, I'm slightly indisposed now. Alright, sweetheart. Alright, my love. Oh, I always love you too. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. And who the hell was that? <sighs> you know her. It's my fiance Eve. Yo, what? And who or what am I? Linda, stop. Please stop. We can't continue pushing it, okay? I thought we've talked about this and we have common understanding of this relationship. Should I just start? Don't touch me. your bed but a no go area as a wife in your home you take me for a fool or what or do i in any way look like those girls mess around wash your mouth woman do not say anything that will provoke me when they for the party oh you are and not we because i can as well change my mind right now nonsense do not push it linda do not push it do you hear me I take exception from the insult. And you're beginning to get on my last nerve. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if I'm getting into your bones. You know what? Now it seems all clear that you are one big mistake. <laughs> How dare you refer to me as a mistake? <laughs> What do you want to do? Flex your muscles on a woman? Meet me up in the car now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm beginning to like you. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Sheila. Me? Of course you're Richard. Sir Richard, you're good. And um, I want us to be very close. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean please, please don't. Okay, don't I am. I Come on, Richard. Come on. Let's get going. Listen. Take what take you, please. I don't want to get into trouble. I don't want to lose my job. Okay, so just leave. Richard, stop. Man, no one is gonna fire you, okay? Buddy, trust me.
it that he's not in the room or something? Get back. What? Mom? What's happening? Happening? I, I, I don't understand. When I came back, everything was open, but I found no single soul. Oh, Dad, sorry, darling. I, I was out. And you found no single soul? Where's Richard? Richard? He's nowhere in sight. Nowhere in sight? You checked his room? The backyard? Oh, huh? you went out without your bag? Boy, I solely taken over your senses. <laughs> Come on, girl. Just for no way, he has taken over everything about you. Linda, this guy is not just a common house boy. This guy is a guy there is, a guy there was. Girl, I need to come. I mean, just thinking about this guy. Linda, I want to make me go, I just, I just, I just, I just want to go crazy. And how sure are you that you're not crazy now? Linda, get it. Everything I tell you about this guy is just it. I mean it. In fact, girl, I am in love. In love?
Richards? Honestly, I've never felt the way I am feeling right now, Richards. Well, I just ask for is for you to give me a chance to prove my love for you, Richards. And I promise you never ever regret it. What do you think your parents are going to say about this? Huh? What are they going to say? Uh -huh. Richards. I am matured enough to live my life the way I don't fit it. At whose expense? Do you know what it's going to cost me? I'm here at the instance of your parents, so at least I need to show them some respect. Mm. Richard, we can't get a secret about this. I mean, just for your sake, okay? I promise you nobody's going to find out. For how long? Besides, I don't like this, your attitude. You, 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 drink, you drink like fish and you smoke like chimney. I'm not your class, Mandy. I'm sorry, but it's not going to work. Can't you see? Richard? You said this? Hmm? You said this? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I quit. <laughs> Richard, from today onwards, I will smoke again. I quit. Okay? Richard, can I say I love you? I love you so much. Just for your sake, I quit. Please. <laughs> okay. I mean, some form of dilemma. It's like I'm sitting on some time bomb waiting to explode. Bishop, listen. This is your world. Okay? Enjoy your form. Don't, 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 don't just bomb me, right? Yes. And, 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 I don't even know that. Is this your idea of fun? Huh? Doing two women under the same roof. Not even just two women. Mother and daughter under the same roof. Is that your idea of fun? I could actually lose my job here. That's why you can't afford to lose either of them. Okay? This is your game. Play well, win the trophy. Play bad, lose everything. Come on, opportunity they said comes only but once. You have to go, sorry. Hello, guys. Yeah. No, no, no.
Hi, sweetie. How's it at work? Huh? What was he doing here? They brought in your iron clothes now. There. Have you had dinner? No, no, no. I shouldn't be asking that. Let me go get dinner for you. You look tired. Oh my god. Let me help you with your with your clothes. Don't worry. Thank you. No, 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 no. I forgot. No, believe me, I forgot. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, I will send Richard right now. Our husband, houseboy now. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Let me tell him. He's coming right away, okay? I'm sorry now. Okay, okay, okay. Talk to you later. Let me go get him. All right, later. Fine. has this been going on? Mm. Richards, don't try my patience. How long has this been going on? For quite some time now. Oh, you bastard! Bloody great! You don't visit for a minute that you are dishonoring the wife of a man who has done so much for you, Richards? <laughs> Under his nose, Richards. Under his roof, Richards! Yes, I can explain, you see. I'm being blackmailed, okay? Understand me. Huh. Being blackmailed by the bolts in between your letter? Listen, you're just not gonna understand, okay? I'm just being blackmailed by your mother, and I'm so sorry. Please take a seat. Let me explain. Don't, Mom. Don't. Mom, you've you really disappointed me. 
Look at you. You've betrayed your husband, you shameless woman. Don't you dare raise your tongue on me. No matter what, I am still your mother. So you have to address me with some respect. What respect, mother? What respect? Listen, you've ended up in opening a can full of worms. And I'm sorry because you're about to be eaten up. Okay. So, what do you want to do? Huh? What do you want to do? Do you want to go tell your father? Go ahead. Go and tell him. He won't even believe you. Because everything that spills out of your mouth lies. Get this into your head. That will not only tell my dad about you and Richard, I will also let him know who my biological father is. Listen, Rosemary, I don't care how you look at it. My dad is my biological daughter. She needs to know that I'm her father. That's all. So what are you trying to do? You now want to leak out our little secret? Is that what you want to do, Dr. Mark? You are just being selfish here. Who is interested in exposing anything? Nobody needs to know. You are the one that is being inconsiderate here and wicked. Do you know what will happen to Chief if he finds out? Eh? He's just going to die of a heart attack. That's if he knows. Who will tell him? Bring your voice down. Maddie could if she finds out that Chief is not a biological father. Don't you know? Please, in the name of God, let us let sleeping dogs lie. Please. Ah! You're not the first. You little devil. You are the mother of devil. I said, who is your boss? Oh, madam, you are. Please, why are you asking? Now you listen to me. Nothing, I mean nobody, comes between me and what I desire in this life. Not even my husband. But madam, what do I do? Don't even think about it. Come here.
Richard. Richard. to leave this house as soon as it is daybreak and please just do that in the interest of everybody okay take this check it is for the sum of 15 million cash it and invest it into any business of your choice Please do not fail to call me, do not hesitate to reach me if you need any other thing. Listen, I, I, I am doing this in memory of your late father to whom I owe a lot of things. And please, do not forget, as soon as it is daybreak, you leave and never ever try to set your feet in this house again. Don't forget. As soon as it is dead. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Your what? I'm leaving. Chief has asked me to leave. Chief, what? Leave? You can't leave. I mean, we didn't discuss it. So it's not possible you, you would leave. You know I deserve to leave. Excuse me, Mrs. Rosemary Edwards. think you're doing? Why are you sending that boy packing? Well, that is my decision. How can you take a unilateral decision without even consulting me? Are we not supposed to be discussing it? That is not necessary. What do you mean by it's not necessary? I am your wife! Why. And let me tell you, woman, I have had it up to this place. No more. This is the end.